In this video, we'll take a look at generating a PRT from an enterprise phone that's registered to CUCM. The specific phone we're going to be looking at is going to be the 8841 phone. And we're going to go ahead and make some changes here. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is we want to set up the secure shell user account. So here I'm just going to use Cisco, Cisco. And then the next thing we want to enable is the SSH access to the phone. So we want to hit enable. And also we want to make sure on the right hand side the checkbox is enabled. We're going to apply the config. We're going to save the config. And we're going to reset the phone. Okay, the phone has completed the reset. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we, we will basically go ahead and SSH into the phone. So basically what I'm doing here, let me just move this to the side, is I'm going to SSH to the phone's IP address. So if we actually go back out here, let me go back out one level. If you notice, the phone is at 192.168.134. So we're going to go ahead and SSH into that. And I already have a session that I was working with earlier, but I'm going to restart the session. Okay. So we have Cisco, Cisco, and then it'll be debug, debug. And to turn on debug, so this part right here, um, the login as Cisco was something I created a few moments ago for the user account within the properties page here within CUCM for the 8841 phone. I use the same thing for the password. So the first two variables for the login and the password in this example were Cisco, Cisco. This next part where it says D vf 101 login this may vary from phone to phone and or from firmware to firmware it happens for this specific version of firmware which we have 1401 enterprise firmware sip for the 8841 phone to get into the console it is debug debug however this may vary best thing to do is do some online searches to see what's published on the different Cisco pages. I will leave some links in the video below. The next thing is there is a list of different debugs you can enable. So I'm going to do a debug question mark and then we'll use a shift up arrow key just to kind of show you all the different possible debugs. And if we get to the very top here, okay, but you definitely want to get feedback. Most likely you're going to be working with Cisco technical support. You want to get feedback on which specific debug they want you to turn on. If you're not sure, then go ahead and do a PRT without any debug initially and see if that's enough information. If not, then go ahead and turn on debug. And then we're going to go to the actual web interface of the phone itself. We're going to go to the device logs, console logs. And then what we're going to do is we're going to click on report problem. And this is going to generate a new PRT for us. We could have also done this from CUCM. I'll show you in a moment. But in any case, since we're here, here we'll do it from here. And then simply we'll click on the PRT. This is going to show up in our download folder. And then this is something we would want to go ahead and give to Cisco tech support and or if you're working with a Cisco partner for analysis. But if we go back to CUCM, and if we go back one more level up, so right now I'm under Devices, Phones. I'll just click on that so you can see where I'm at. There's an option where you can enable or select this specific phone that we're focused on for the collection of the PRT. And then you can click on Generate PR PRT for Selected Phone. And at this point, you can go back to the phone. You can go to console logs, 
under device log section. And then we can go ahead and click on the PRT that was generated here. So two different ways of doing that. Hopefully this video has helped you with generating a PRT from an enterprise phone that's registered to CUCM. Thank you.